Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nick Abraham and today I'm going to show you how you can properly scrape Sales Navigator. So I get this question all the time. Nick, what's the safest way to scrape Sales Navigator? How can I get my Sales Navigator search to get me business emails? And tons of questions from people hitting me up on Twitter and YouTube. So I thought I would make a video on this specifically. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Nick Abraham, like I mentioned before. I run Leadbird.io and a other plethora of SaaS companies in the cold outreach space. And we're pretty good when it comes to scraping Sales Navigator, enriching our data with business emails and so forth. And so I wanna kind of give you a quick overview on how to properly scrape Sales Navigator and kind of talk about the pros and the cons of Sales Navigator. So Sales Navigator, believe it or not, is what all the big B2B databases use to kind of build out their database, right? The only issue is that it does not provide business emails. So on Sales Navigator, you can apply filters, find a whole bunch of leads that fit your ICP, but typically they're not gonna have a business email unless they include it in the profile. And so that's where, you know, data sources like Apollo, Zoom Info, and so forth do really well is because they'll actually provide the business email, right? But they're basing all their data off of Sales Navigator and typically they're just doing permutations and, and other sources to actually get the business emails, but that's a whole other topic. So just to kind of recap, in Sales Navigator, you do not get the business emails for the leads, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to get them. And then when it comes to Sales Navigator, the search results are actually very inaccurate. And this is one of the biggest issues with Sales Navigator and why I hate using it. It's because no matter how you apply this, the filters, whether you do Boolean searches or not, your search result typically on average is only gonna be 33% accurate, right? So, you know, you may say, hey, I only want people that are in the United States and it's gonna have leads that are from India, from all the countries and so forth. And so you really do need to build a filtering mechanism to kind of make sure that your search result that you're getting is accurate to the filters that you applied. So that's that's one thing I'll kind of speak about and how to automate that later in this video. The other thing about Sales Navigator, this is typical in most B2B like lead gen databases is that they only show you a select few amount of the leads that are compared to your total results. So what I mean by that is, you know, if your search result comes back with a hundred thousand contacts, typically you're only going to actually see 2,500 total leads. And so it's going to show you 25 results per page and a total of 100 pages. So 2,500 total leads per search. And so, you know, if you're wanting to scrape your entire TAM, right? So let's say your TAM is 100,000 contacts. You're going to have to break down your search result into tiny batches of 2,500. And I'll show you like the most effective way of how to kind of think about this using the slice bread method. So I did not come up with the slice bread method. I'm not even sure where I learned from. And I don't even know where I got the spreadsheet from. But the spreadsheet's outdated, so it doesn't work. But you can take that same exact process and build out these tiny search links. So basically what this spreadsheet does is like, you're coming in here and you're basically applying all the geographies that you can apply, the IDs, right? And so like, you know, let's say you wanna get everyone in the UK. So you wanna split the search because it's too big. It has 100,000 contacts and you need to break them into to batches of 2,500. Easiest way is probably doing geography and just doing and breaking each, like your total search into tiny little batches um, just by the geography, right? And so you come in here, you can apply all the different geography IDs. I just copy and paste the same thing, but you get what I'm saying. And then it builds out the search link over here. And then you could just, you know, input this search link into your tools and scrape it. But this is the process of like breaking down your search. You want to break it down. Like you're still like, let's say you're still targeting marketing, advertising and managing directors at these companies, right? But now you're just breaking it out down into tiny little batches so that you get everyone, right? Because Sales Navigator only shows 2,500 total searches per results. That's why you gotta have to use the slice spread method. So I just wanna kinda quickly touch on that and explain how that works. But the two methods for scraping Sales Navigator are using Chrome extensions or a headless browser tool, right? So I'll kinda talk about this and the pros and cons of it. The con of using a Chrome extension is that it is very risky profile. So LinkedIn will ban you if they see that there's you know unusual activity coming from your account. And a lot of these Chrome extensions are cheaply made and can get your account banned. I, I've never ran into that situation. I haven't really used a Chrome extension in a while, but LinkedIn is very sensitive nowadays. So if you're in an industry where, or you have a profile that's really built up with a lot of followers and stuff, it's definitely not worth the risk of using a Chrome extension, right? And so if you do use a Chrome extension, I recommend that you use like an avatar. So there's a website called get AIA, get A-I-A dot I-O that allows you to rent out profiles. And you know, these are throwaway profiles that you can put a Chrome extension on and, and not have to worry about it. So that's that's something I would recommend if you're wanting to use a Chrome extension. The thing about a Chrome extension as well is that typically the outputs are pretty basic. So, you know, you're just getting first name, last name, the title of the person, their company name, maybe their company website, 
their LinkedIn URL, sales navigator URL, leads location, summary, and headline. Just the basic information. And then you typically just take that, you know, CSV export that you just use off of Chrome extension to scrape and put it into drop contact to go find the business email. That's the simplest way to do it. I just don't prefer this method because, you know, you're leveraging your profile. I don't want to have my profile banned or uh, uh, just, you know, deleted or anything of that sort. So I don't like using a Chrome extension, but it's different for everyone, right? And free plug for myself, I own this tool called Golden Leads. I'm a partner here. And what we do is we actually use our, our own network of accounts so that you don't have to use your own account, right? And so, you know, once you get your search result from SalesNav, you just literally input that search result into our platform and we're going to run the scrape through our accounts, right? So we don't use your account. And then we do a lot more than the average Chrome extension could do. And I'll kind of explain some of the stuff as well. So, you know, we can get all of this data very easily, but we do a lot of really cool things on our own. So one thing that we do is we're actually getting um, the activity of the profile, right? So we'll get your sales nav search and we can even see if it's an active profile, meaning has, you know, have they been active in the last 30 days? And typically what we've seen is if we're running any kind of LinkedIn campaign, if we target the active profiles, we see a much higher response rate, connection acceptance rate, and everything of that sort, right? We'll even check if the lead has an open profile so you can run in-mail campaigns to them. And then we'll go even further and grab the industry that was applied and specific to their sales nav result, company description, you know, their start date, how long they've worked at the company, their company page, LinkedIn URL, if you want to do some stuff inside of Clay, company location, company employee count, company employee count range. And then we'll even do advanced filtering. So I kind of want to show you that, right? So this is kind of what the CSV looks like when you pull it from Golden Leads. And the cool thing is, is that on the very right of your spreadsheet, we'll basically see, okay, hey, does your title actually match what you inputted inside of, you know, your search result? Yes or no, right? Is the industry matching? Yes or no. Is the region matching? Yes or no. Is the company headcount matching? Yes or no. Because these are the typically the, the areas where we see the most inaccuracies when it comes to using Sales Navigator. And so... By doing so, we're able to, you know, make sure, hey, you know, in this search for this client, having the title as yes only is very important, right? We can't have any no's because they can't target outside of this. So, you know, let's only target the people with the yes. So we can kind of get our search result to be a lot more accurate and uh, relevant to what we want. So this is kind of like the outputs that we can give you. And then past that, we also do a lot of extra stuff that most creepers can't pull. So a great example is company follower URLs. So this is probably some of our best performing campaigns that we had. We can actually grab everyone that follows Zoom Info, for example, or everyone that follows Apollo, for example, or you know, go find one of my competitors and scrape everyone that follows their company page. And the reason why this is so important is because it's like intent data. Because if anyone's following Zoom Info on LinkedIn, they're probably interested in have knowledge of like B2B, lead gen, lead sourcing, and things of that sort. So if I'm selling anything within that realm, it's like the best campaign to run because you could basically say something on the lines of like, hey, I saw that you're following Zoom info on LinkedIn and thought I'd reach out to see if you're interested in my lead gen solution XYZ that does XYZ. Like that's, that's, a, that's a game changing campaign. And so that's one of the things that you could scrape using all the leads. The other one is kind of similar, like the LinkedIn event attendees. So, you know, if you find an, an event that has a tons of people within your space, you can go grab everyone that attended it. Same, similar situation, running campaign, saying something along the lines of, hey, I saw that you attended this webinar by XYZ. Um, you know, we help people do XYZ. Would you be interested? Whatever it is, right? Um, totally depends on how you want to run it. And then we can also scrape group members inside of a LinkedIn group. So you can find groups that, you know, have your ICP. We could pull everyone in there. And then we could also do a lot of other advanced search features that are coming out soon. Uh, so like, let's say you have a list of LinkedIn URLs and you want to you know, identify which ones have open profiles or active profiles, or if you have like a list of accounts that you need to search. We have all of these advanced search features coming out onto our platform, Golden Leads. And what I'm most, ex most excited for is we're going to build something called a sales nav breaker. And so what we're going to do is actually on our end, instead of you having to do the slice spread method, we're going to break the sales nav search into tiny little batches so that we can scrape more than 2,500 at a time. And we'll be the only platform in the entire world that can, you know, be able to do this where, you know, if you're like, Hey, I want to, you know, just get everyone on this list that has a hundred thousand people on it. 
and I don't want to do this tedious process with doing the slice bread method that I explained earlier, you know, you can put it into bone leads and we'll be able to do that. Can't do it yet, but we will in the very, you know, probably in like the next 30 to 60 days. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like an overview of how to scrape Sales Navigator. And like I mentioned before, right? If you want to get the business emails, all you need to do is run the LinkedIn profile URLs into Drop Contact or pretty much any enrichment tool, and you'll be able to get the business email. And so that's a quick overview on how to scrape Sales Navigator.